Hey there, it's Dana Shea Williams with LearnWithDana.com. Have you ever done a presentation and maybe you don't know exactly what to do with it? Or do you get tired of just, you know, watching just kind of boring videos and people explaining tutorials to you? Well, if you haven't heard of SlideShare, this presentation that I'm doing right now is going to show you exactly how to use it and how you can really maximize your business by using this really simple yet really powerful tool. So let's go ahead and get into this. If you look on the computer, right now I'm actually on my SlideShare account. Now this is a SlideShare presentation that I did called 10 Critical Mistakes That New Bloggers Make. This would make for an excellent webinar, a great presentation to help new bloggers in some of the mistakes that they make. So it's really easy to set up a SlideShare account. All you need to do is go to SlideShare.net and then set up an account with them. And there's a free version and there's also a paid version. The paid version offers some additional features such as you can um, actually get leads directly from SlideShare and some other things like that. So if you prefer to go the paid option then go ahead and sign up for the pro membership but there's a tons of the stuff that you can do with just the free membership so that's what we're gonna focus on today let me get a drink of water because I feel like I'm like stumbling all over my words okay so here we go. So you can see right here, this is a SlideShare presentation that I made. And basically what you're going to do here um, is you're going to just simply go when you want to upload a new presentation, you're just simply going to go to upload, okay? And the easiest thing to do is to create a presentation in PowerPoint, all right? So go ahead and use Microsoft PowerPoint to get your actual presentation together. And, you know, if you don't know how to use PowerPoint, then, you know, um, this isn't the tutorial for that, but it's really easy to do. You know, pick out a cool theme, you know, go ahead and put your content on the slides, and then save that. Now, once you save your presentation, you're going to save that in documents or pictures or wherever on your computer. Then you're going to go to slideshare.net. You've already set up your account and then you're just simply going to upload right here. Press this button for upload and then it's going to ask you if you want to upload. Now this here is for the paid version. Um, this again right is for the free version. So you're simply just going to upload a new file. It's going to take you into your documents and then you can just simply upload from there. Okay. Once you upload the file, then it's going to bring you to a page that's going to ask you to enter some description or some descriptive info. You definitely want to maximize this area. Okay. There are lots of people that upload things on SlideShare and they don't take advantage of the powerful SEO that's built into the system. So what do I mean by that? You're going to want to write a very keyword rich description. Okay. And being that, um, you know what, let me go ahead and walk you through. I was going to say I really don't have um, a, a presentation necessarily, but let's just take this one that I did yesterday. I've already uploaded this, so I'm not going to hit enter, but this is what I'm talking about. Okay, yesterday I did a SlideShare presentation called The Five Greatest Business Tips for Entrepreneurs. Okay, now you'll see that it's loading the, the PowerPoint here on the left right here, and then this is what I'm talking about in the description. All right, in the description, you want a keyword rich description. Don't put something like, watch this presentation. Put something like, if you're a new business owner, um, you know, you definitely want to read these five greatest tips for entrepreneurs. And then you want to use whatever other keywords you are focusing on and that you're targeting. You want to go ahead and put those right here in the description. Okay, the next little box is the tags. Again, very, very important. This will help you to actually rank. I've ranked on the first page of Google several times using SlideShare and this is how you do it so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna use keyword rich tags okay what do I mean by that well what is this post about it's about entrepreneurs right so there's a tag right there entrepreneur um, what's another tag that this is about business owners so what about um, you can just start typing a word and it'll give you suggestions what about business plan, right? So you just basically go through and you're going to choose different tags that you want. The more the merrier. Um, the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to choose the category. Again, this is about business. So I'm going to choose business and management. And then you can actually, um, actually the paid option allows you to privatize your post but if you're trying to rank on Google you don't want to privatize your post so go ahead and keep it public and then you're gonna click save and continue now I'm not gonna click save and continue simply because I've already uploaded this particular presentation but that's what you will do okay and then after you do that what's gonna happen is it's gonna bring up your slide share presentation that looks similar to this and then you'll see over here this is your share counter now you don't see my Facebook count because I am logged into my Facebook business page 
on purpose media and marketing solutions so that's why that's not showing up but normally um, if you were logged into your personal Facebook page um, it's going to show your share counter how many shares you've gotten on this particular slide share your tweets your your LinkedIn your Google Plus pins um, from Pinterest and all sorts of things like that okay so basically the cool thing about this is now once you have uploaded your presentation to SlideShare this is powerful look up here in the URL box slideshare.net slash Dana Shea Williams that's me slash 10 mistakes new bloggers make look how SEO rich this is this is how you can rank in Google using something other than a blog or using something other than a video okay you can rank in Google even using SlideShare okay and so when people click on that URL they're gonna be taken directly to this presentation and then they're just simply gonna go through the slides you know I talk about uh, this is really bothering me let me go up here and I'm just gonna log out of Facebook actually I'm going to go to my personal page just so that that can stop doing that okay let's refresh because I really want you all to be able to see what these slides are okay so there's the share counter um, it's gonna appear there we go alright so now you can just go through the slides here with your folks alright number one the reason one of the critical mistakes that new bloggers make is they don't have a niche number two they don't have a dedicated domain number three and you can just go all through your slides and you can actually do this on a webinar you can do this in a video you can repurpose this slide share for all sorts of different ways this is so incredible like I said if you want to rank on the first page of Google use this and it's a free tool so I hope you all have found great value out of this video I hope that you will go off and now begin to produce some great content using slide share using PowerPoint and also I want to invite you to hit me up or connect with me I should say that sounds a little more business like <laughs> on learnwithdana.com and if you go to learnwithdana.com then you are actually going to be able to receive some great marketing tips I'll keep you on the loop every time that I upload new content you will get an email showing you that I've uploaded new content that can help you in your new business or help you if you're actually learning or wanting to start a new business. So go ahead and head over to learnwithdana.com and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.